afternoon. I'm Sarah Rogers, Executive Deputy Director here at the Columbus Museum of Art, and I'm delighted to be with Ruben and Isabel Toledo. We are on the eve of a very special, spectacular exhibition. The museum invited Ruben and Isabel to come to Columbus about a year ago, and we wanted to do something a little different. Uh, we wanted to really explore their creative collaboration and find ways to share that with the community. And uh, we're going to show you little bits and pieces of that, which I think is pretty incredible. Um, at the heart, for me, at the heart of the exhibition are the two work tables. There's one for Ruben and one for Isabel. Ruben, why don't you tell us a little bit about sure. your table? Is that work all right? It's my work table. Uh, <laughs> it's basically it's, a, it's called Art by the Yard because it's a living diary of, of uh, the last couple of weeks before we got here to Columbus and, and a little bit done here as well. And it's, uh, it's basically ideas and, and sketches and, and drawings. It's basically how I work. I wanted the visitors to the, of the museum to have a, a peek at how I work, how the brain works, how ideas are linked. Um, some of these small scrolls will be interlaced through the larger scrolls, and that kind of demonstrates how one idea feeds another and how some ideas are not ready for prime time and they're just short moments and other ideas can really be stretched out into a whole body of work. So that's the, that's the idea. And I let myself go with how I usually work, which is I, I draw by thinking. I, that, that's the way I think. I just have to draw down the idea. Sometimes it's a, it's a watercolor idea. Sometimes it's a charcoal idea. Sometimes it's just a magic marker, ink, uh, a black pen. Um, but yeah, it's really about capturing an idea as quickly as I can. And, um, and, and I think important is to bring in the fact that he wanted to cut the artwork and weave in the other ideas. So he's going to cut into all of the drawings and weave in other extra ideas that never made it, like you said, it's a fine fine. Exactly. So it's, it's a kind of a, 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 how I imagine my brain works, which is all these thoughts weaving together all at the same time. And they Not have to fight linked. it out. Yeah, and some of them have to fight it out and see what's the big idea and what's what can go away. And it away. also expresses how we work with this. It's a give and take, a constant conversation. And it's also about how you have texture in your life, which is from my work. Absolutely. And the weaving of the paper is very much the weaving of cloth. So we are trying to, to really physically show what it is to work together. It's literally the coming together of ideas. Yeah, there's a lot of cross-pollination that happens right. in our work, and I think we both intrude on each other's um, work. <laughs> so but, but, I also work it out. but I also think there's a great sense of uh, humor mm -hmm. and some sarcasm, and you Always. tend to comment on the fashion world and just the title of the piece. Art by the Yard. Yes. Well, listen, yes. I, work in, I work in New York in the middle of Manhattan, so it's a, you, you can't help but, but uh, be inspired by the street and by people and by the constant clash of right. ideas and, yeah. and, and different and the types. Vastness. Sure, and that's, that's the beautiful thing about fashion. You can throw anything at it, and it just absorbs it and, and spits it back at you in a beautiful way. So that's, I, I love the roughness of that and the quickness and the spontaneity of it. And so hopefully this, the Art by the Yard captures that. Yeah. As opposed and to Isabel's as opposed to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now Isabel, we've got, if we walk over if here. If it's about movement, in this case, I'm going to be static. You're very I want just to create a silhouette, which in fact is very much what I get from his work, which he oh. loves ink. He loves ink so on like paper. here. So exactly. here's so here's a great example. Of so I'm doing with my work. I am really reacting to Ruben's artwork because in in a way, my world is very three dimensional. So the putting together of the machine, which I've covered totally with silk paper taffeta. So and this, this is, is your sewing machine. Yes, this is my very first sewing machine that my father gave when I was maybe 13 years old, and I called it mother. She has been my inspiration, constantly letting me create, create, create from the very beginning. I mean, this is for me, my, my soul. And I just wanted to give her the place, the place of importance, and to show also the bloodline, the vein of creation. It's constantly giving out creativity. And, you know, for when you work in my studio, you recognize every woman that sits on her machine. They own it. It's... It's their world, and they protect it, and they have a conversation with it. And I just felt it was important to have this as my source. My heart is 
other than Ruben, <laughs> it's my mother, machine. Well, it's amazing how it, all this creativity just spews out of here, and it's all connected again. It's all stitched and mm -hmm. connected, and with so much, so much labor of love in every single detail. You can see it. But I also see there are lots. I mean, the pieces are separate. There are yeah. lines and threads connecting them, but it's pulled there's apart. A, there's a disconnect. I mean, this is energy. It is the explosive energy well, of creation. Well, there's a dissection going yeah. on, obviously, yeah. right? It's almost yeah. like a laboratory or, or... Which is also how fashion works, too. It's Absolutely. a laboratory, but also how fashion today is, is so fast, and, and it is explosive. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to capture that because I really do... If I have to say one thing about my work, is longevity. It's about time. And I wanted to give that viewer the sense of time with the stitch. So... When here, we, is, here we see yes. lots of different kinds of stitches. Yes, and it's just a meditation of stitches. Not that I want, actually, it's really hard to not do that perfect stitch. When ah. you're a maker and you know because you know how to knit, it's very hard to be raw and to just express yourself without making it a pattern or. Well, it's and a I wanted to do that. It's a flow of consciousness, is what I wanted really to capture. It's just flowing out of her fingers, which yeah. is a beautiful thing, but it's her own special language, too. Huh? It's like oh, yes. Braille. It's braille. It's braille. It's braille. Okay. Yes. So then we come, we come along, and even though, I, again, the first time I saw it, I was just overwhelmed by the different pieces and parts, yeah. which then It's still, hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is, which then still come together in what to me looks like an exquisite, iconic Isabel Toledo Absolutely. garment. Absolutely, and if there's anything that takes a lot of labor is being able to pleat this all with little pins and a steam iron and pulling every little piece of fabric because before it's pleated, it literally is a flat cloth. This has not been pleated uh, in a machine. machine. No, this is hand pleating. And, and this, the, this the, is something you've been doing oh, throughout your Oh yes, body I do it in work. Jersey, I do it in taffetas, I do it in a lot of different fabrics because it gives me architecture. It gives me the beams right. to create well, a standing very figure. Good at manipulating cloth. Oh, yes. That's the thing. She understands weave very well. So Total it's, engineering. It's working with gravity and it's working with, mm -hmm. with the airspace between the threads. So what she does, how she manipulates the cloth is incredible to me. When it's being Which done too, it looks like a cross between a, a laboratory and a, and a voodoo doll or something. Uh, There's a million <laughs> spins in there. Well, I'm thinking of those it's wonderful very ceremonial. women. Yeah, it is very ceremonial. Even the act of doing it is ceremonial. The preparation of it yes. is very beautiful. Yes. Everybody takes so much care and love to yeah. do each little thing that yeah. it's kind of amazing. Yeah. So we have the work tables that are really, you know, kind of the foundation of your parallel but very different Absolutely. thought processes. Very different. And I see we're also going to be able to see, you were just talking about the materiality of how then that develops in your body of work over the years as a fashion designer. Well, what's incredible yeah. is, again, how you're looking at shape and silhouette and cloth, but then you're looking at, before it even becomes a silhouette, you're looking at things like this, which is a woolly woven wool, uh, beaded in and out of uh, a chiffon. Yeah. So it's floating, it's it's yeah, floating on this beautiful soft cloth, but all this has been done by hand and woven into cloth, so it's two different material dissecting each other. And this ends up being the yarn coming out and just... You know, Exploding out of it, yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. And, and the This is all cotton. I mean, I, I, I just... For me, the fabric ends up... I look at fabric and I want to figure out how to make it sculptural. How do I build with this? And I how do you make morph the material? Right. Sometimes it's a very That's, soft material yeah. that ends up being quite stiff and architectural. Right. Sometimes it's the other way around. It's a very hard and... Uh, stiff fabric that she makes it melt and like jelly so it's a very so beautiful thing to watch. So do you design all your own fabrics? Many, all these, yes. These are all done in Switzerland. Most, that one is France. Uh, well, we, work and with, I, we work with the same mills for 30 years so we have a really great relationship. So they work with our, I mean a lot of the drawings that Ruben has they take and they turn into a lace. Or well, it's a, incredible a to know that they'll, they'll be in my studio looking at a, a giant yeah. watercolor painting and they'll try to mimic it in embroidery, our mills, which is kind of beautiful yeah. to see. Yeah. So that cross-pollination again and that, that collaboration We're even working with those mills, which is wonderful. Right. So it really is from the, from the bottom up. So, what, so behind here is, it looks like large sheets of paper woven together well, you're looking at, 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 of course, this, this one painting is, is made of four different watercolor paintings, that each one is this size, but then each of them have been dissected and woven together to complete this first, this last co composition, and then I painted over that. 
So again, it's the idea of, of layers and, and the airspace and things that you can't quite see. They can be peeled apart and, and exposed, but they're not. So and once again, dissected, same as mine, it's dissected. Because okay. we really did want to make sure that we were having a, a conversation that came together here. It's not that you're on your own enough. We really wanted to make sure that we were showing that melting Place that, yeah, where creativity that happens, that, exactly, that explosion that happens when two things clash. Right, because I think the, one of the many themes of the exhibition is this creative collaboration, and I think in some people's mind, they think, oh, a collaboration, I do this part, and then you come in and do that part, and, and that's not how it works. And it could. It could. I mean, it could. I mean, I think collaboration, first of all, you all have to bring your thoughts to the pie. Sure, it's it. You have to bring a, a unique ingredients. Yes. That's the whole okay. idea. You're going to cook up a and new that's stew. Mush. Exactly. <laughs> you, it, it, they have to be strong ideas, and, and some and that, are. The, the interesting part is, and how do you those strong individual ideas then get woven together? And they're all apparent, but the the, the yeah, final product is stronger than each one alone. Right. You know, for instance, all these beautiful dresses of Isabel's are going to end up on this landscape of women, right. which I'm about to paint right now. So all these women will come flying off onto this landscape. Uh, and again, it's that melting together of what, what's the background, what's the foreground, right. what, is, what is it that I'm supposed to look at, that'll be revealed. So is this something you've done before? Really in our own studio, in your, but but not in. No, never no. before this way. I've, I've done many murals and painted on giant spaces, and of course, Isabel has had many museum exhibitions before. But the idea that her women will inhabit my painting is is, uh, is, is the first, first time. This is and the first. I already have plenty of other ideas. Columbus is brave. Like yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Columbus, for being brave. So, has working on this project you've been here since uh, for the week? For the week. Um, has it changed? Or has it given you some ideas that you didn't really expect in terms of how you work together? Have any surprises? Well, I mean, the biggest surprise, and I shouldn't have been surprised, but it happens all the time, is how we, we, we come up with all these ideas back at the studio. When you bring them here, you start seeing how everything talks to each other. Even if we didn't think of their placement, you, you see the language start to build, the sentences are building, and you see, if you're looking at something, but your eye is almost capturing something on this side because there's a pattern co connection. Yeah, the, That's been really... It's true. Yeah. What, seeing it all in one big space really does, you do see how it all gets all the It's like a giant of graphic of ideas. But there's lots and lots of layers, and I think the same of the, whether you're physically weaving paper together or the ideas are being connected via these conceptual threads is very much at the heart of this experience. Absolutely, yeah. I think we, we knew that that's what we want. We knew we wanted to capture, but we didn't know if we could. Yeah. And that's great. And we have, there's another part of the gallery which we're gonna leave as a surprise. And when visitors come to the museum to see this exhibition, and you walk up to the museum, you've got these great uh, windows on the north side of the building, you're going to see another kind of woven, visual woven and conceptual collaboration by Ruben and Isabel, and it's really a showstopper. Play on space. Yes, and architecture. So we're delighted and can't wait to see how things all come together on Me Saturday. Too. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.